Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will explore the differences between instincts and learned behaviors. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to describe and explain the differences between instincts and learned behavior. Instincts are innate behaviors that are hardwired into an animal's biology and do not require learning or experience. All animals, including humans, have innate instincts that we have developed during our evolution. Here are some examples of instincts. Mating behaviors. Many animals have instinctual mating behaviors such as courtship rituals and territorial behaviors that help them attract the mate and reproduce. Look at the following mating ritual of peacocks and peahens. When male peacocks try to attract the mate, it's all about using their tail feathers, also known as their train. A male peacock shows off his train to a female and hopes that she finds it large enough and attractive enough to want to mate with him. Peahens decide what trains of the peacock looks most attractive and this is by far the largest determining factor of picking which one they're going to mate with. Parenting behaviors. Many animals have instinctual parenting behaviors, such as nest building and caretaking, that help them protect and care for their young. Think about what bears do when their cubs are threatened. They definitely don't sit around and see what happens. Instincts kick in and whoever is messing with their cubs is in for a rude awakening. Foraging behaviors. Many animals have instinctual foraging behaviors such as searching for food and gathering resources that help them find the resources they need to survive. Bees automatically make honey without having to go to school and be taught how to. A spider spins a web to capture prey purely off instinct so they have food to survive. Social behaviors. Many animals have instinctual social behaviors such as communication and group dynamics that help them interact with others and their species. There are many species of animals that stay in herds or groups. They instinctively do this to naturally protect themselves from predators. Quick check for understanding. Think about the instinctual behaviors we just talked about and how they apply to humans. How do humans interact in social settings to fit in? How do humans go about getting resources we need to survive? What are the parenting behaviors that we show to protect and care for our young? Take five minutes to write your responses. We are excited to hear all of your awesome responses. Now let's move on to the learned behavior. Many common animal behaviors are learned through experience and exposure to their environment. Learning is the acquisition of knowledge or skills which leads to a change in the behavior of an organism. It helps an organism to respond to different situations. Here are some examples of learned behaviors. Foraging for food. Many animals learn to find and gather food through trial and error, as well as through observing and copying the behavior of other animals. Lions learn how to hunt by watching other lions. The longer they watch and practice, the better they become at hunting. Second, avoiding predators. Animals may learn to recognize and avoid predators by observing the behavior of other animals or by experiencing negative consequences when they encounter a predator. Animals can therefore avoid attracting a predator's attention by trying to hide their presence such as by remaining silent, seeking refuge, and reducing overall activity levels when risk of predation is high. Octopuses use several different strategies to evade predators. They camouflage themselves by quickly changing their skin color, they make colorful displays or eject ink to startle or confuse potential predators, they squeeze into small crevices to escape, and they quickly propel themselves to water. Third, social behaviors. Many animals learn social behaviors such as how to communicate, cooperate, and form social bonds through interactions with other animals. Think about how humans interact with each other. Depending upon the environment humans are in, usually determine how they are going to act and carry themselves. Most humans tend to act differently around their friends than they do their parents, grandparents, or other people they see in respected positions of authority. Why is social interaction important to humans? They provide us with a sense of connection, purpose, support, and ultimately overall better health and longevity. Dozens of studies have shown that people who have fulfilling relationships with family, friends, and community members are happier, have fewer health problems, and live longer. Fourth, tool use. 
Some animals such as chimpanzees and certain bird species learn to use tools to solve problems or obtain food. The woodpecker finch uses modified twigs or cactus spines to pry arthropods out of tree holes. Chimpanzees are sophisticated tool users. They use stones to crack nuts and fish for ants or termites with sticks. Chimpanzees even have a toolkit they keep handy for different situations. In summary, instinct, also known as innate behavior, is an action that occurs immediately on the trigger. There are behaviors that are hardwired into us from birth. Instinctive behavior makes it possible for a person to adapt to their surrounding. Instincts are life or death important for all animals to survive. On the opposite end, learned behavior is an action that organisms learn through observation, education, or experience. They were not born with these learned behaviors like they are with instincts. Quick check for understanding. Determine whether the following examples are instinctive or learned behaviors. Pause the video, you have 5 minutes to complete. You got this. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between instinctive and learned behaviors by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day. This guy's now.